Hello, Dr. James Markham with another Biblical Prescription for Life. And if you're first time to this video or this YouTube, I want to thank you for joining us. And I want to encourage you to subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends and neighbors. And for those who have been commenting and helping other people that are coming to this, I want to thank you so much because your productive comments are helping many people as many people are looking at these videos. Um, it's just a great privilege for me to be with you. Um, and I thought a lot about what topic to tackle next, but I want to do a series on dementia. Um, a lot of people hear this word and it scares a lot of people. A lot of people know someone with dementia, have family members. Um, I know it won't affect everybody, and chances are if you're watching this, you don't have dementia, but I want this to be a tool that we can use and learn about it and share it with our friends and neighbors, those that might have a need. Um, there's so much out there about dementia, so I spent a lot of time reviewing everything on the subject. Um, and I wanted to share that with you because I th think I looked at the broad range of things and I can look at this from an unbiased source. I'm not trying to sell a product. I'm not trying to sell a memory pill. Um, I just want people to have good, solid information. And I found out some things that we really need to talk about that I don't think are emphasized um, in people that practice um, medicine and that deal with people with dementia. And primarily it's the neurologist, the gero um, psychologist, um, the psychiatrist, um, the geriatricians. Um, those are the ones that see a lot of patients with dementia. Um, but it is a problem that's underappreciated. I think, you know, some of the statistics I said about 7 million people have Alzheimer's disease, but Alzheimer's disease is just a subset of dementia. Um, it happens to be one of those that's not reversible, but there's many types of dementia that's potentially a reversible. And in my studies and research on lots of articles, I found out that usually there's lots of overlap between the dementias. There are lots of technology out there that we need to talk about, lots of treatment, lots of people are making claims that may or may not be true. So with that said, we're gonna tackle the subject of dementia in small bits. We're not gonna get it all at once, but we're just gonna give little bits. And today, I just wanted to define what it is and talk about the way it's diagnosed. But before we do that, I want to share a biblical prescription, and that's from a book that I don't use too much for biblical prescriptions, and that's Deuteronomy 6.12. And this is from the New King James Version. It says, then beware lest you forget the Lord who brought you out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. So in some, instead of bondage, it says, you know, it doesn't, he wants to bring us out of slavery. Um, so we're going to talk about that text later, but I want to first start off in our discussion about dementia to let you know there's a lot of misinformation about this topic, a lot of technology, a lot of research, but a lot of the research is focused on money and not what's best for us or not giving us the big picture. So I wanna do that from an unbiased source um, today. So I think in understanding this, we need to understand first what dementia is. Believe it or not, about one in three people um, take a brain supplement now to help them remember things. And it's a sixth, dementia is a sixth leading cause of death in America. And it's a growing cause in the world. A lot of people have this condition and they don't want to admit it. 
or they have a little bit of it, but there's a stigma, so they don't want to talk about it or tell people about it. Um, families keep it quiet when someone starts getting dementia. They want to keep people at home. They want to sort of isolate them. So that's a problem that's happening. We will talk about those things. But basically, dementia, as defined, is a decline in cognition, the way we think, that is so destructive or so advanced that it in interferes with our daily activities of life. Some people call that a cognitive disability. That's what dementia is. Um, and the symptoms of dementia, a lot of people don't realize there's many different symptoms and it can become from a progressive memory loss, not being able to remember things, lose items, um, it can be having problems with figuring things out and problem solving. One of the things that I see in clinical medicine, it usually has a change of behavior. Sometimes um, symptoms of confusion, language difficulty. Sometimes it's hard to find words. Attention is changed. Sometimes people that have um, dementia will be use repetitive activities or words. Sometimes they will have an unusual symptom of just being restless with life. Um, some people have never had a problem their whole life with anxiety, then they'll suddenly become anxiety or suddenly become paranoid. Well, all of these are some of the symptoms that might make a person think they have dementia. Now, I know I have problems remembering things and names occasionally. Does that mean I have dementia? No, it means I just have my, my brains getting older. And some people, we, you know, it's sort of normal to have some forgetfulness and problem pulling up names as we get older. So once we have these symptoms that are ongoing um, and we admit that there's a problem, the next thing is to usually see a doctor or have some testing done. And remember, there's no single test that um, diagnoses dementia. It's a series of symptoms. Um, and usually when you have these symptoms, you'll go through a battery of tests, blood work. Depending what the blood work shows, it might lead to a CAT scan or an MRI. Um, um, looking for things that are reversible. They want to know whether dementia is from a reversible cause, so there'll be a detailed history. Depending on the age and circumstances, there might be some genetic testing, and we'll talk about that in the future, who might benefit from that. Um, a good history and physical, good imaging tests were indicated, and then sometimes they'll just test how your brain's working. Um, sometimes it will be drawing numbers on a clock face. Some people will have difficulty doing that. Sometimes they'll repeat three or four words or five words and ask you to repeat that in a few um, minutes. There's different tests that use. One is called the mini mental status exam, and you can look that up on the internet. A test that you can do yourself is called the SAGE, which is a um, gerocognitive exam. And the SAGE exam basically stands for a self-administered gerocognitive test. And if you're interested in looking at this, now this doesn't make a diagnosis, but sort of leads you down that pathway to see if you might have a problem, you can go on the internet and go to elderguru.com. Elderguru.com and you can download this and take this um, test yourself, but there's no single test that makes the diagnosis of dementia. And once you're diagnosed with dementia, it doesn't tell you whether it's a reversible cause or a cause that's not reversible. Everyone's scared to death of Alzheimer's disease because um, that's the most common cause of chronic dementia. And we're going to talk about that next time. But there's many other things, causes of dementia, um, that might be reversible. 
And we're going to talk about those next time, the different deficiencies, the different medications, the different toxins, the different medical concerns that can cause dementia. And all of those are reversible and not long term. So I just wanted to introduce you today to the concept of dementia. Um, it's really, it's a decline in the way we think, interfering with the daily activities. It has a host of these symptoms. Um, and then once you have that, you go to see your doctor. He does a complex history and physical. That's very important. And in the history and physical, um, they'll determine what blood work, if genetic testing, if imaging does done, and they'll be specifically first looking for reversible causes that we're going to talk about next time, and then making a diagnosis of the etiology. So we're going to be talking about that over the next three or four biblical prescriptions, because I think it's very important that we have a balanced knowledge of this, because there's a lot of people trying to make money. There's lots of misinformation. There's lots of fear. And God does not want us to have a spirit of fear. And that brings us back to the text today, Deuteronomy 6, verse 12. It says, then beware lest you forget. Um, and that sometimes happens when we develop older brains and develop dementia. Beware lest you forget the Lord who brought you out of the land of Egypt. In other texts, it says, who delivered you from slavery, from the house of bondage. So in our lives, we do not want to be slaves to anything. We want to be free. And we know that real freedom comes from the truth, and the truth that sets us free is in Jesus Christ. He's our Lord and Savior, our ultimate healer. And we know that there's lots of things on this earth, including our illnesses, including those that do have dementia. We can sometimes be in bondage to our symptoms of disease, to our disease states, to some of the things that's going on in our world. But we don't want to forget the Lord. He brought people out of bondage in the past that were enslaved. We're sort of stuck on this earth now, but he's going to bring us out of this earth, out of being slaves in this earth, out of the illnesses that we have. He's going to do that in his time. And we can be guaranteed that he's going to do that. And we just will not forget the Lord brought those people out of slavery and bondage, he's going to bring us out of slavery and bondage, no matter what that bondage or slavery might do, and he's going to take us to the promised land, the place where we can be with our Savior, the place where we can be with the one that loves us the most. And that's where we all want to be, because in that place, it's a place of love, a place of healing. Um, that's where we want to go. So I want to leave that with you, that text with you. Um, and don't forget, the Lord's going to take us out of these problems that we have. And we're going to learn over the next few times about um, dementia. So share this with your friends and neighbors, especially those that might be dealing with loved ones or people that have this problem. And please take the time to subscribe, to share it. And if you have some comments about dementia, um, that you would like to share now, many people benefit from the things that you share. Remember, we want in the comments section not to be personal. We want to be sharing it. So I don't want you to be asking me personal questions about me. I want us to be sharing information and positivities with other people as we bring them into an understanding of the key to health. So I'm Dr. James Markham. I'm going to be back soon. And next week, we're going to talk about the etiologies of dementia. And we're also going to talk about reversible causes of dementia. Then we're going to move into after that, we're going to talk about the different medications, the different treatments, the different diets, the different herbs, the different supplements, and some of the misinformation that's happening in this field. So I'm Dr. James Markham, wishing you the best of health, and I'm going to be back next time with another biblical prescription for life.